For this project, I chose to talk about American photographer and documentary filmmaker Robert Frank. Frank was born in Switzerland in the year 1924. He began his interest in photography during World War II as an escape from his business-oriented family and home. His first work, called 40 Photos, is a handmade book of photography constructed in 1946, just before he immigrated to America. The book consists of a wide range of photographic styles and genres that were popular in his native homeland of Switzerland during World War II. For example, the cover photo of an eye peeking through an open camera lens with its back cover of a closed lens establishes the tone of interplay between the formal and thematic opposites while at the same time emphasizing similar shapes and properties. One of the most significant aspects of Frank's 40 photos is how it reveals the power of two photographs being paired together to elect a new meaning. For example, the two photographs of a man carrying a pig and a woman carrying a barrel of hay are closely aligned images to explore the concepts of repetition, contrast, gesture, and sensation. Perhaps Frank's most noted work is his book titled The Americans. The Americans was published in the United States in 1959. The photos are ethically evaluative because they portray distinct views of the lives of the high and low class citizens in post-war America. It also shows the racial differences that were present post-war. Frank's photographs give clear contrast to the most contemporary American photo photographic techniques. I enjoy these photos because they portray the social standards. In the image, you see all the white people in front of the bus while the African Americans are stuck in the back. It also shows people of the same race in different social classes. For example, there are some pictures of white people dressed up fancy, while there are others of different white people living on the street. It shows the true ethically diverse situations that occurred during post-war America. After studying films and videos for a period of time, Frank returned to still life photography. He published his second photography book called The Lines of My Hand in 1972. This book is considered to be a visual autobiography consisting largely of personal photographs taken all over America, Spain, London, and Wales. The photographs have quotes and simple descriptions that interact with the photos themselves. The quotes in the photos add characteristics of interpretive photography by leaving the viewer to figure out how the quotes fit with the pictures and what Frank's motive was for taking the picture. Also, it makes the viewer interpret the personal meaning behind the photo taken. Overall, what I enjoyed most about Frank's work is that he wasn't afraid to stray from the norms. He used what, is thought, what, he used what was thought best for his photography. Straying away from the norms is what made his photography so unique, memorable, and inspiring even over 60 years later.